Dub C here, and today we have another MRE ration video. But today we're outside, so I'm gonna be hiking with the Titan. This Titan is a 24 hour cold weather from Minotaur Trading Company. Mad Dog 346 sent it over to me, and I wanted to review it a little different. Like I said, I've been inspired by a lot of the other reviewers to get outside and check things out. So I want to get on the trail, and I'm gonna break the meal into three breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we're gonna find three good spots and eat those, enjoy those, and try the outside life. Um, like I said, a really nice day out, about 40 degrees. So let's get started. So we're at our first stop. I got my pack. It's kind of windy out. It says still about 40 degrees. I want to get to this spot because it starts getting to the hill. And behind me, there's quite a bit of hill. And then I also got a river that's close by. We're up in northern Michigan. And uh, I'll do a quick unpack. I might speed through it. But I'm going to uh, highlight a few points. I, I got the, I think it's a best gear or best gear. Uh, jet boil uh, so I can get my water boiling and get that stuff going. So I got um, a couple utensils I want to try out. One that came with the kit and I got some other ones that uh, I've gotten. I'm going to go ahead and get the water boiling get that stuff going. This is the, the best gear or best gear. It's just a camping kit. Picked this up uh, pretty Cheap and I'm surprised how well it works. I did uh, Fernbark suggested I do a couple dry runs, so I got a couple dry runs done, and uh, go ahead and try that out. We open it up. I got the tank, fuel tank right here, and the fuel tank right here has the uh, stand. You definitely want to use this in an uneven train. You don't want this tipping over. You snap this right on here. Boom. Find a nice level spot. We got the burner. Comes out of the little container. That can be perfect. I really like this burner because it actually will ignite the fire. It has an igni uh, ignition system on it, so you ain't got to worry about matches or anything like that. Okay, we got all that set up. We got our boiler. We get the water out. Start putting everything back in its case. Another cool thing about this that I really like has a little uh, satchel with it. But this thing, once you get it opened up, you just kind of pull these out, and spin it all the way around, get it locked in. Once it locks in, it's pretty solid. You fold the uh, flippers out, and you hold quite a bit on there. Like I said, you want to find the nice even ground. Make sure your uh, pot sits on it. Got the jet bowl set up. Let's uh, go ahead and get some water in there. Like I said, I broke these into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We got breakfast kit right here. We got apple, cinnamon, muesli, some French toast. I'm going to try some stuff out. I just got a gallon of water just so I could have. Um, so this is pure amateur hiking. This is just getting outside and getting reacclimated to the woods for myself. Trying some new stuff out. So we're gonna get this burner going. Like I said it lights up real good. We're gonna add some water. I believe the uh, apple cinnamon muesli. I'm gonna add like four ounces of water to it, hot water. I'm also going to uh, use the FRA to kick the French toast, so I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. I got so excited about uh, cooking breakfast, I forget to go through what I got. So, like I said, this is the, the Titan, and it comes with a 24-hour uh, cold weather kit. And it's pretty cold out right now, so it works out pretty good. A lot of it's uh, the freeze-dried components. You just got to boil the water, throw it in, instead of a retort pouch getting cold and freezing up. So, for breakfast, we got apple cinnamon muesli. And I broke it up myself just so you have it. We got some dry roasted salted peanuts. This is cool because I got a coffee pack. This coffee pack is the one that can be drunk from this uh, container itself. I don't, you know, I don't have a coffee cup, but. I did bring some extra cups. 
just so I could have some uh, pink lemonade. And I got a moist outlet if I need that. I'm going to keep everything in this bag so I don't lose none of the trash. I want to keep make sure that I'm not hurting any of the, leaving any trash around. So I got the FRH cooking up the French toast right now. It's doing really good. Nice and warm. The water's boiling really good, so we can actually add the water to the apple cinnamon muesli, and I got the coffee. This is exciting. This is a lot of fun, but it is a lot harder than it. Uh, do it inside, but that's the fun part. So we're going to make up our coffee real quick. We got my coffee pack ready. Got the handle, which we're going to need. It's a little cardboard handle you slap on there. Just got to take a little tape off it. Got the water boiling. The FRH is cooking. This is going well. Now I'm going to take this deeper coffee. Said, always keep the trash in your bag. Do not want to litter. I'm specifically against that. Get my deep rich in there. Boom. Get my sweetened condensed creamer spread. All right, we are boiling good, so I'm going to cut this off. Tell you that thing works great. It's a uh, a little jet boil, it gets it boiling with no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this water. Four ounces. Got hot coffee. That feels good on the hands. It's cold out here. Let's see if we can not lose our coffee in the swing condensed screamer. Almost there, everyone. Getting breakfast out in them on the trail. Got the dry roasted peanuts. Getting this in. Drink ready to go. This the kit I got for the burner actually comes with. Um, Utensils. I'll use these for breakfast, but I also got a few other utensils I want to test out. So this one comes with a spoon, knife, and fork. I'm going to get this apple cinnamon muesli cooking up with the hot water we had. Perfect. Okay, like I said, these utensils, they get they, uh, they come folded up in this little pouch. Put my pouch back in my utensil bag. We got a knife. I don't think I'll need a knife right now, but we got it ready. We got a spoon. Definitely going to need the spoon. We'll fold that out. I'm going to stir my muesli up real quick. And the muesli I had last time, it was really good, but uh, Tracy Phillips actually suggested putting some sweetened condensed uh, creamer in and a few others did as well. So I'm going to be adding that in there as well as some of the dry roasted peanuts just to give it more texture. That's yeah, stirring up really good. Got our FRH. That feels nice. And I got a fork, which I won't need the fork. So I got the spoon. I'm going to go ahead and stir my coffee up real quick. Bam. Put it in my pot. I'm going to try some of this coffee out real quick. It's nice and cold out here, so. Ooh, that's good. It's piping hot. And I tell you, a warm drink out in the cold, it's awesome. That's uh, it's great. The cup's holding up on the uh, the leaves and the, you know brush. I, mean, I ain't got no table here. I'm just kneeling down. Now, gotta get my sweetened condensed creamer back out. I want to sweeten this up a little bit. So I'm gonna add about half of my coffee and about half in this. Wood shotgun like CT, but I need it for my stuff. All right, we got the dry roasted peanuts. Nice pouch. 
Go ahead and give some of those a shot. Right out of the bag. Bam. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Them dry roasted peanuts are fantastic. A nice handful. I said it just tastes better out of these pouches versus like a jar, or a plastic jar or something. I'm going to take the remainder and put it in my apple cinnamon muesli just to give it a little zest, sweet and savory. Take another drink of that. Well, actually, I'm going to make up my, uh, I got pink lemonade and there's some true lemon. I'm going to mix it up real quick. Got my true lemon in. And I'm using my backpack as kind of like a go-to. It's like I got everything ready in my pouches and... I really like this setup. I will be looking for a stump at my next spot so I can sit down though. This kneeling's not bad, but uh, sitting down would probably be a little better. I'd probably have to take a seat, but I don't want to get wet because the ground is kind of wet. We're doing kind of a melt off up right here now. The river is typically pretty low, but I want to get to the river and show you it's, it's flooded out real good. Not really flooded. Yeah, it's kind of pushed out. All the snow melted off. And it went right to the river, so it's got it's kind of extended out quite a bit. So I got my fresh water. When I get a little bit better hiking, maybe I can actually boil some of the the uh, river water and have some of that. But I got fresh water for now. Like I said, just getting started, having fun out here. I'll use my knife stirred up. This is the pink lemonade with lemon lime or lemon added to it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <sighs> well, I should got should have got a bottle and mixed that up and had that. All right, we got our French toast done. This thing is still that's a really good FRH. Or maybe I'm just cold, but it's a really nice FRH. When I'm on the move, when I'm on the hike, I don't get the cold though. When I'm just sitting down. That's when it starts. Uh, you know, you, your heart stops racing, it's not, you, ain't getting, you don't have the blood flow kicking, so i hurry up and get this meal down and get back on the trail. Is that barbecue roof really good? This thing's steaming so hot. Look at that. Put everything sealed up in my garbage bag. I don't want to spill my muesli. All right, I'm going to have a hot cinnamon. I'm going to have a hot French toast right now. Thing is just nice and nice and light. It smells great. Break it in. Look at that cross section. Looks fantastic. I'm gonna double it up. And make a double sandwich. You drink some coffee. Oh man, having a hot meal out here in this cold makes it even taste even better. My moist towel that up and wipe my face. Spill a little coffee up there. I'm gonna keep that ready so I can wipe my hands off again. I got my apple cinnamon muesli still hot, still piping. I put the sweetened condensed creamer in there, I put the peanuts in there. It's looking fantastic and I'm still hungry. See out here on the trail, just burn that calories. Enjoying the wildlife. Mmm. They say the apple cinnamon spice muesli by itself is pretty good. But being I don't, I wanted to mix it up a little bit with this, the sweeten it up and then put a little salt and savory with them peanuts. It's really good. Mmm. Get right off out. So far, breakfast is working out really good for out here. It's a nice, warm, hearty meal. Warm you up. It's easy. I'm eating out of the pouch. I got my uh, pink lemonade with lemon in it. Oh, that's good. It's real good. And that jet boil worked fantastic. I got the water piping out real quick. FRH worked good. I'm warming up from eating. Uh, about got breakfast down, so I'm gonna finish this up, clean my pack up, and get back on the trail. We're all cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and hit the trail some. I wanted to kind of show 
uh, some of the river if I can get to it. It's kind of treacherous, so see what we can do. We're going to try and make it down this hill, get to the river, but it's, I, guess, I don't think we'll be able to see the river from where we're going, but it's a little flooded out. Um, but we'll eventually make it to a river where we can see a nice, uh, and that river's a raging right now because, like I said, that the uh, big melt off. So let's check this out. I guess I, I, this, I'm out here in the woods, I'm hiking on a budget. I don't have nothing special. This, this selfie stick is not a selfie stick, it's the tripod. I'm not trying to, I want to get out here and kind of have fun, but in the same token, I'm not trying to spend a ton of money on... Oh. I'm alive. We're okay. It's a pretty treacherous hill, I told you. As I thought, it's all uh, it's all flooded out. Let me see some of the flooded out train. Right. Normally, you can get through this path. We'll uh, be able to see some of the. You get right to the river. The river's probably about 50 yards that that way. But I thought this was a <clears throat> I thought this was a pretty cool spot. So it's flooded up. It's definitely pretty windy out today. But now we get to go back up the hill. So we're not to the river yet. Some fresh deer track. And there's the hill. We're not gonna film going up. Coming down was a little bit easier. Okay, we're about halfway to lunch waypoint. Um, getting a little hungry. Been out here for quite a quite a bit of time now. I got warmed up back on the trail, but it got cold during breakfast, so it's, it's, it's still about 40. No sun. I was hoping for some sun, but no sun yet. It's still flooded quite, flooded quite a bit behind me, but wanted to slam some of this first strike bar real quick. Getting ready to do it, and I forgot. Well, maybe we'll do a review on it while I'm. Uh, here we go. Being cold, um, see if it's still rock hard. Yeah, it's pretty hard. But really good snack on the go. Especially when you want to get your energy up. Can't say how enough. It's nice to be back in the woods. Nice wind. The fresh air. It's really nice out here. Alright, we'll meet up back at lunchtime. Finally made it to riverfront. It showed a little bit off. Now I want to eat lunch by it. Sun's starting to peak out. You guys have already seen me kind of set up gear, but I got my camp right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out, and then uh, I'll tell you what we're having for lunch. So let me get everything ready to go, and then uh, we'll go through the menu. For lunch today, we have potatoes mashed instant, gusseted bag, we got some cream cheese icing, uh, it did come with a basic pack. It actually came with two. But I actually broke them up already. But it, it comes with two basic packs, which is your wheat, snack bread, grape jelly, peanut butter, sweet and condensed milk, cream cheese icing, coffee, sugar, creamer, true lime, true lemon, drink moist, drink mix, moist outlet, hard candy, and spoon. But I, I just wanted to break it down to the essentials. So I brought what I needed from the Titan. For lunch, I'm going to have the spaghetti with meat sauce. I do have a Dutch mess kit in case I need it, but I want to try and get out of the pouch because I don't want to create dishes. Got a multi-grain snack bread. I was actually going to try that with the cream cheese icing. I've seen a couple people do it. We got the dessert cosmic ice cream. It's a freeze-dried ice cream, cookies and cream. Got a deep rich coffee. I don't have the coffee um, 
mug that I had for breakfast, so I'm going to have to break out one of my uh, utensils. It did not come with cheese, but I have some extra cheese, so I brought some cheese bread for the uh, spaghetti. Give it a little kick. I, um, I didn't bring a drink mix, but I just wanted some lemon water or just water. Uh, just being out here, I get thirsty, just want to drink water sometimes. So we'll mix that up. I got my moist towelette, brought that, so in case things get messy. For utensils, I used the utensils that actually came with the uh, cooking gear. They worked pretty good, but you got a fork, knife, and spoon. That's really nice to have, but if you want to keep it simple, just get a spork. And then uh, one of the sporks I definitely would recommend out here, because this is all you need to bring. It's got the, the knife, it's got the fork, and the spoon right on it. Which is the foreign MRE titanium spork. It's got the spoon. It's got the, the knife serrated edge right here, and it's got the uh, fork side. I mean, kind of a one, one deal off. It's a lot easier. Like I say, you kind of want to, from what I'm seeing, I'm taking notes on all the stuff I need to improve on. And what I'm seeing as far as what utensils I need, what I don't need to bring, too much stuff. But being a first trip out, it's working out pretty good. So I can get the, go ahead and get some of the water boiling. And then you're gonna need the four ounces for the coffee and 16 ounces for the um, spaghetti. But I'm gonna reduce that to about 14 ounces because I like, I know it doesn't take it all. I'll take it up to 20 ounces. And this thing does come with measuring inside. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually got a measure on the side. It makes it real easy. I'm trying to get everything set up. It's, uh, the train's not that great right here. It's not much of a clearing, but I want to get the riverfront because it's really soothing to sit by the river. Go ahead and uh, get the mountain house set ready. This, is, this old pack has uh, been through a lot. It's actually given to me by my dad. Um, and it's really awesome. I mean, it's, it's old, it's beat up, holds a lot of stuff, and it's definitely great for carrying the weight. I don't even notice all the weight. I mean, one good thing about the Titan is the freeze-dry components is the, the pack weight's really light. I got my uh, smaller knife out. This is just a Bushmaster buck knife. Um, you know, standard, nothing special about it, but got it out instead of having my zombie knife out here. It's a lot easier just to have this out. You want to cut these pretty high so you don't um, basically have, you got to have some to clip over on itself. I need to sharpen my knife a bit. And get that ready to go. Always keep the trash inside your pack. This jet boil works fantastic. It's boiling before I can even get anything ready. Just like that, we got our uh, lunch made. I used my foreign emery spoon to mix everything up. And they freeze dried. You definitely want to get in the corners. Corners be mixed up. Oh, that's not. I've said in some of my inside reviews, once you get down here in the cold and uh, your hands get a little, a little chilly, you can actually use the pouch while it's reheating to warm your hands. This one's a little too hot, but it definitely feels good out here. I'm just going to fold that to the top, now it's mixed, throw a clip on it, or not. Got everything kind of situated, so I figured it's the start time to try, try some stuff out. I got half my bread, I'm going to put some cheese spread on it. So the cheese spread didn't come with the Titan, but I had some extra around because I just like to add cheese spread to some of the mains like uh, the spaghetti in there, it came with chili mac too. Uh, so that's something that could be added, you know, if you had it, or if, you know, it's not necessarily needed for sure. And this cheese is really thick right now because it's cold. We're going to have some of that for the main. we got the cream cheese icing, which is always really good, but I, I've seen people use it on the bread, but I've never tried it myself, because you know, the sweet snack bread gets a little crazy. Sometimes a little real dry, but we got the coffee. And I just got regular water. We'll give a little dab on the bread and try that out. 
one thing I did forget is the creamer and the mashed potatoes. But I'll live. I'll I'm trying to keep everything just light and packed. I do have the moist nap. These things get messy. And they do. I want to try the ice cream. Go ahead and open that up. Actually comes in a additional pouch. Oh, it's already open. Okay. So we got here. It's kind of broken up. That's all right. Okay. So I'm gonna try some uh, snack bread with some cheese on it. Hmm. Definitely dry and then drink some coffee. It tastes a lot different out here in cold. It's like a, it's still dry, but it's still pretty good. Oh, hot coffee. You appreciate it more out here for sure. All right, now I'm, since I'm trying the bread, I want to try the bread with the cream cheese icing. That pairs really good with the coffee, but it turns that it almost turns that wheat snack bread into a dessert. I mean, it does. So that's really cool. I got the mashed potatoes. We got the bag; they're all ready to go. Nice and hot. Didn't have any. Uh, I could add the cheese to that too. Actually, will make some cheesy potatoes. There we go. Forgot the creamer, but I can add the cheese. How about that? A little bit of mix. It's nice and warm, so it's actually just mixing right up. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's give these cheesy taters a test. That's where it's at, right there. That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. My well, thing for lunch has been really good so far. I'm saving dessert. Just got a regular fresh water. Check this spaghetti. Looks like it reconstituted pretty good. Give it a shot. Mmm. Reconstitute it perfectly. All the noodles are very tender. That's that's great spaghetti. I'm actually going to cut this off a little bit more so it's easier to eat. I definitely need to sharpen the knife. I got my snack bread with cheese. It's going to pair a lot better with the spaghetti like that. So overall, everything has been great. I mean, Breakfast so far was great. Get out here and you can have a hot meal. That's just never used to have that. It used to be like a bologna sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly that like soaks through all the way until it's like um, like almost see-through. But to have a hot spaghetti, mashed potatoes, cheesy potatoes, snack bread, and hot coffee, can't beat on a cold day. Try everything out. I'm gonna try the dessert now. This is the freeze-dried ice cream. Comes in a pouch like this, kind of broken to pieces. Had the freeze dried ice cream before, but never like uh, cookies and cream, so try it out. That's real good. 
I did forget to mention the first strike bar was what I paired with this, but I got hungry on the way. I ended up eating it. But it's, you know, it's an easy snack for them on the go. This is real good. I need some more coffee. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish all this up, get this cleaned up, and get back on the trail. I'll see you all for dinner. If not, uh, unless I find a good spot to do a little filming. I'm up to a nice spot. Just want to show off the river. Look how much it kind of still, like I said, still even the melt off, still coming down. Especially across the river over there change of plans we actually got cut off by the overflow from the river on our normal trail but I figured it'd be a good spot to sit down this is not actually the river this is a stream coming off the river and I figured we get some dinner going so got my last pack from the Titan and for dinner we're gonna have to... still pretty full from lunch so I don't know if I'll be able to eat all this but I do want to get the chili mac excited about that and the rice, I'm not sure about. Let me see. Got some chocolate covered sunflower seeds. Multi grain snack bread. Uh, peanut butter and grape jelly. Deep rich coffee. Got a cosmic ice cream mint chocolate chip. I'm not a huge fan of mint chocolate chip, but I do want to try it still. And then, everything else out. For the coffee, I'm going to be using the sweetened condensed because that was really good for uh, breakfast. And then uh, I got a pink lemonade with uh, lime this time. Let me mix it up. Pulled out, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through this so you guys don't have to watch the full setup. All right, we got our water boiling now. I got our drink mixed up. This is the pink lemonade and lime infusion. I really enjoy that. I like it a little bit better than, uh, say, the lemon. I got my four and MRE spark. It's been proven very, very helpful because I only want one utensil out here. But, like I said, it did get colder. It's about 30 degrees right now. For my hands and everything's pretty cold it's all mill notes all things that i'm learning kind of um on my first trip uh a little bit exhausted too so bear with me i do have my coffee and that's going to be like that's one thing i enjoy the most about being out in the cold and eating the hot food is be able to eat some of the hot food and having the hot coffee out here it tastes good inside but I tell you what, we get out here in this cold, and it uh, tastes a whole lot better. And I can understand why people would appreciate it on the on the field. Go ahead and pop, pop this uh, mint chocolate ice cream on. This is be dessert. It comes in a little separate package. I got my Dutch mess kit that I'm kind of using to kind of hold everything. Wait until dessert try it. But it's just a little package. It's, not a huge fan of the mint chocolate chip, but I do, again, want to try it out. I'm going to make the uh, half sandwich peanut butter. A lot of debris falling in my pans. Got my multi-green snack bread. I do want to save some from the main. And I did bring some cheese spread with jalapenos. It does not come to Titan, but I was thinking about putting it in the rice if I uh, wanted it. So I just might have some of the main. Bread looks good. I say half of the main. The peanut butter is like rock solid. I'm trying to warm it up. One of the things to think about, could have put it in my pocket or something, I'm trying to get the body heat on it. We got grape jelly, CP favorite. It looks like a lot of grape jellies in the, this Titan. Got uh, peanut butter. So my knife isn't that sharp, but a little bit better today. Uh, 
see all the debris back in the trash bag. And we got some chocolate covered sunflower seeds. I could have ate these as a snack on the go, but just like I said, I wasn't too hungry. Oh no. Dropped a few of them. But now I'm starting to get a little bit hungry now I'm sitting down. When I was on the go, I wasn't that hungry, and I don't know if that, as you kind of sell down, I'm getting a little bit colder, but I'm getting a little bit hungry. Water boiling really good, so I'm going to get the main on some heat. All right, we got the main set up. We got the hot coffee um, mixed up. I got my drink mixed up. I'm going to try to start trying some of this stuff out. So I don't know if you're a big fan of the chocolate covered sunflower seeds or if you've ever tried them, but if you have not, you need to try them. They're great because they're not too sweet, and I'm not a huge sweet guy, but they also have that sweet kick to them, and then you get into the sunflower seeds, so let's go ahead and try them out out here. You can definitely tell the chocolate's cold. That doesn't really melt right away. But still really good. I bet I'll pair good with this coffee. This is the deep rich coffee with the sweet and condensed creamer spread. Oh man, that's so good. That is really, really good. Not only helps warm me up, but just a really good combo. I got a leaf in there. It's all right. One thing to be cautious is I'm always used to like coffee mugs that don't get hot because they're like uh, insulated or they have like a thicker, kind of thicker wall to them, like a ceramic mug or something like that. But these ones, they get instantly hot on the outside, so be careful on both your hands or anything surrounding, because it'll probably get them melted. Oh, that's good. All right, got my peanut butter and jelly. I'm just going to make a little half sandwich real quick. Don't have a bunch to anything to make it special. So I'm just going to dab the peanut butter, dab the jelly. Just like that, just I don't know if I can fold it. I've done that before. There we go. And just mash it. Mm. That bread is still dry, but it tastes good. Peanut butter jelly, can't beat it. Mm. I think that has to be one of my favorite drinks. The pink lemonade with the li uh, lime. I don't know what it is, but it's like a lemon lime, and uh, it's very refreshing. It's very nice. It goes well with the wheat snack bread. Alright, so I do want I do want the rice. I'm, my hunger is starting to come back now. I'm starting to get some food in me. Uh, it says add uh, four ounces of boiling water. I'm just about that in here. And I'm going to add uh, a little bit of the cheese to the rice to make like a jalapeno cheese rice. But while we're talking on this kind of camping gear, this jet boil right here, this system, and I know a couple people have mentioned that they're looking at getting it. I suggest it. It is uh, fantastic. The kit comes by itself with the boiler, the cup, and then uh, you have to buy your gas or butane. It's called the all-season mix. I found a tank, the stand, 
was able to make up three meals no problem. Blow up the water for coffee, the freeze dried mains, and the rice, the mashed potatoes, and the apple cinnamon spice muesli. And I still have a lot of fuel to go. I right, got a couple more things to try. So one thing I did learn is if your coffee gets cold, which it does if I'm, you know, I didn't drink it fast enough, again, I got chilled off, especially out here. Fire this beer. Oh. Never mind. Well, I was going to say you could turn on the burner to warm up the coffee, but I lost it. So moving on. We got the rice and uh, I'm going to add some of this sea spread. I'm still a little sad about my coffee. So we got some more food to eat and it's warm. All right. Knife out. That's it. All stuff to remember for next one. This uh, much harder to open these up. Much harder to knead them when they're cold. They don't mix well. And add that cheese spread of jalapenos into the cheese or the rice, and then I'm gonna have some on the snack bread with the main. So let's go ahead and try this main out real quick. Just cut these main bags off that way you got a little bit more room to dig in there so this is the chili macaroni with beef nice and hearty look at that I'm able to keep my hands warm while I'm eating Huge bonus. Very good. Um, got beans in there, some of the macaroni noodles, and the beef. Everything reconstituted very well, just like the spaghetti. It's got a very slight spice to it. Could add hot sauce if you wanted to. I'm going to put some of the Jalapeno cheese on a piece of bread and smash that with it. Is that like a little bit of spice to it? There you go. And this cheese is like rock solid. It's not really helping me out any. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the bread with the cheese. There we go. Snack bread is cold and dry. It has a little bit different flavor profile, but not much. Just wash it down with this pink lemonade and lime. Now doing this out here gives me only more respect for those who do it outside. Because nothing seems to go perfect. And you gotta kind of improvise and change things up. Losing my coffee, falling down. If you haven't seen me falling down, you gotta check that out. <clears throat> losing my clip, losing my path. Now I gotta go back a little bit further and cut back to another spot. Cause this, I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to go through this. I'm not prepared for that. We got our cheesy rice. And then we got our dessert. So this is your rice pack. I didn't want to mix it with the chili mac itself because it's got already got the noodles, but I know you need your carbs when you're out here running. Here we go. Cheesy noodle. That's one of the best ways to quick zest something up. I seen them the mashed potatoes the same way. I did that with lunch. And I wanted to, you know, put the cheese in there. Give me an idea for the, the rice. This is fantastic. It's like a cheesy rice. Mm. I don't know, time to stop eating it. I 
That that rice is MVP with the cheese in there. Perfect. All right, so I've tried everything out, but I have dessert. I'm gonna try this. I'm not a huge mint chocolate chip fan. I know there's some people out there that love it. I'm not one of them. But I do like the freeze dried ice cream. Well, it does taste like ice cream, but it's got that strong mint kick right from the beginning. I'm not a, not a huge fan of that, but everything else is good. So I'll go ahead and finish this up, and then uh, we'll have a final thoughts and kind of conclusion of this Titan, Titan, and Titan. Okay, so final thoughts on Titan. Menu one, cold weather, 24 hour. Worked out pretty good. Not only in the house, but especially on the field. Apple cinnamon spice muesli, great. I uh, had the French toast with it. Coffee. The coffee pouch was awesome out here. I didn't have to have my coffee cup and then spill it. Uh, the chili, chili mac I actually ate for dinner. Uh, spaghetti with meat sauce was great. Um, I, one thing I would suggest maybe adding some cheese sauces with the, or the cheese spreads with the uh, mashed potatoes or rice. Um, trying that out, it's really good. It didn't come with the Titan, but I brought them because I had some spares. Um, that was a really good addition, but all the other components were great. The first strike bark was, uh, was awesome because I was able to eat it on the go. Same with the sunflower seeds. I was able to eat those on the go too, but I didn't because, um, there's a lot of food in this. And actually, I think this would go much further than 24 hours if you really need it to. I hope they make some more of these and, uh, try some different menus out. It's really good. I especially wouldn't mind a breakfast one or some of that because I love breakfast. As far as this camping kit, this is like a best gear camping kit. Worked fantastic at each uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, it was a great, it was a great uh, hiking trip. I had a few uh, mess ups, but it's all part of the journey. And I took a lot of mental notes on what I can do better and have fun. But I'll definitely be doing more outside stuff and trying to keep it going because it's a lot of fun. So that's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.